The Smash roster is one of my favorite parts of the entire Smash Bros series, with the inclusions of new fighters every installment. Never knowing who the next fighter is going to be, some fighters don't make it in, either being deconfirmed from me costumes, assist trophies, or other fighters from a third party company taking the spot. As well as a few other reasons, welcome to a new foes appeared, where we talk about ideas for fighters that could possibly happen in Smash 6, if not the future. I'm your host BB8 from BB8's house as always, let's get into it, up next. Hey there YouTube lovers, welcome back to a new Foes Appeal. Today's episode is to tie in with a recently released game. Not recently released, because it's a remaster from the 3DS, but you get what I mean. And if you want to know who this character is, take a look at this. This is supposed to be Professor Edgar's episode? Oh wait, Polterpop stole the invite. That's right. Polterpop from the Luigi's Mansion series is who we are going to talk about today. I thought to tie in with Luigi's Mansion 2 HG, I thought I would do Polterpop from the Luigi's Mansion series. But why not Egard? Well, Polterpop made his debut in Luigi's Mansion 2. Professor Egard made his debut in the first Luigi's Mansion game. So I thought Polterpop kind of makes more sense here. And bear in mind, Polterpop is not meant to be taken seriously. I'm doing Polterpop as some sort of joke character. So, without further ado, let's get into it, shall we? For the moveset, the neutral special, we have Ghostly Bite. Polterpop charges ahead, ready to snout opponents with a medium range. This move can be charged for more knockback and damage. For the side special, we have Haunting Dash. Turning invisible, Polterpop charges past opponents, delivering damage and dazing them just a little bit. It can be applied to phase opponents and missiles. For the up special, we have Spectral Leap. With a puff of ectoplasm, Polterpop vanishes and then resurfaces in the direction the player chooses. This teleport move can cross platforms and has good recovery range. And for the down special, we have Bone Burrow. After making a hole in the ground, Polterpop emerges with a phantom bone in its mouth. It is possible to toss the bone at opponents, inflicting damage and tripping them. And for the final smash, we have the Poltergeist 5000. Luigi is called upon by Polterpop using the Poltergeist 5000. All adversaries in Luigi's path are sucked up by him stunning them before unleashing a devastating phantom explosion that deals enormous damage. For the alts, we have the default alt with Polterpop's normal white and transparent ghostly form. The second alt, we have golden with Polterpop being gold, referencing the gold bones from the game. The third alt will be a shadow, a more dark and shadowy version of Polterpop. Alt 4 would be neon green, with Polterpop having a green glow reminiscent of ectoplasm, the fifth alt being blue glow, with Polterpop being a blue spectral glow, red glow with Polterpop at a red spectral glow, purple glow would be Polterpop with 
a spectral glow, being purple again, and orange, with the same as blue, green, red, and purple. And for the classic mode route, we have Haunted Helper. Round one is Luigi. Round two is Kirby. Round three is King Boo. Round four is Pac-Man. Round five is Mario and Luigi. Round six is Mewtwo. And the final round is Master Hand and Crazy Hand. And for the stage, I went with Evershade Valley Mansion, a stage inspired by Luigi's Mansion 2. There are several levels to the stage, detachable walls, and spectral beings that sometimes emerge to disrupt the combat, and the warriors can be affected by moving platforms, falling chandeliers, and ghost attacks, among other hazards in a number of areas. So guys, what did you think of Poltopop? And just as a reminder for next week, I will be uploading a new Foes Appeared episode on Monday the 8th of July. And that's the rare occasion I'm uploading on a Monday since it's the 5th anniversary of a new Foes Appeared. And this one is one I've had on the table from the very beginning. One I've had on the table since 2019, longer than any other foe, and, and this foe will finally leave the table on the 8th of July, the 5th anniversary of a new foe's appeared. So, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and turn your notification bell on, so you don't miss another video like this one. And I will see you all in a future video, BB-8 out.